I was up on this very high ledge. You could get across to it from the fire escape, even with one hand, so there I was. If I had jumped, it could only have been fatal, barring accidents. And what could have intercepted me? If I'd hit a pigeon on the way down, I'd have smashed it down with me. A high building. So I sat there with a great easing of misery, because it was all so possible. The crowd gathered and so on. Sirens. I took no notice. It was every moment in my power, on or off, be or not. And one there turned up beside me, of all people, that Samaritan friend. I think I've mentioned him. Very ongoing. I'd made a new will in his favour because I thought it always meant well and put in a good deal of effort. B plus. He'd come up on the ledge to squat beside me and talk me down. We had a chat, just this and that. I was just about to drop off, suddenly, in the middle of what I was saying to take him by surprise, when I saw he'd turned quite pale. He can't have had much of a head for heights, and the next thing, he'd gone. I was quite right to think the distance would be fatal. At this point, I thought myself of going back in. Fire has a terrible attraction as it leaps and licks up, like a creature taking over, when really, of course, it was the house turning into fire because of the high temperature it was reaching, rather than a fire consuming the house, strictly speaking. I went back in through the front door. It was very hot. I went on. It was smoky, so I couldn't properly see. I went on. You must give me marks for perseverance. And no. I certainly can't kill myself by fire. It is far too hot. 